So here we have 4.5 using substitution to factor polynomials. And so what is happening here is that what is being squared isn't just a variable, it's an expression that's being squared. And so then in this case, you would um, use substitution to turn it into something that you're used to, factor that, and then back sub later. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that. So we, this is using x, so we apparently want to use another variable. So I will say let the variable y equal x minus 5, since that is what is being squared. That is the expression being squared. Then that means that this would become y squared plus 8 times a y plus 12. And this expression I can factor. There's no number in front, so I can just do y times y. And then the factors of 12 that add to give me 8 will be 6 and 2. And since it's a positive 8, these will both have to be positive. Now, um, let's see here. So then now we back sub. So here we subbed, and then now we're going to back sub. And here we factored. So when I back sub, what was y? y was x minus 5, and then my plus 2. y was x minus 5, and then the plus 6. And then if you simplify this, we get x minus 3 and x plus 1. And so this is the final answer for this expression. Okay, That's the same thing as if I were to have squared all of this, distributed that, combined all the like terms, and then factored the result. Okay, it, This is just a shorter method than doing all of that. So similarly here, we're going to let, um, it's x again, so I'm going to use y again. Let y equal what is being squared. So x squared minus 7. Then we're going to substitute. So this whole thing becomes y with a square minus 6 times that whole thing again, y minus 27. Then you factor. And since there's no number in front, we can use the shortcut, just y times y. And then factors of 27 that subtract to give me 6 is going to be 9 and 3, or 3 and 9. It doesn't matter what order. The bigger number having to be negative. So then that means this one has to be positive so that when I multiply, I get negative 27. And when I do negative 9 plus 3, I get negative 6. And then now we're going to back sub. And so when I back sub, y was x squared minus 7, and then the minus 9, x squared minus 7, and then the plus 3. And so if I simplify this, I get x squared minus 16 and x squared minus 4. However, those are difference of squares, which means they are not factored completely. So I have to factor again in this particular case. So when I factor that again, I get x plus 4, x minus 4. Here I get x plus 2 and x minus 2. And this is the factored completely version of that um, expression that was given.